you guys, I hope you guys are having an amazing weekend. Um, this is exciting because we took Brixton to go get a buddy today. Um, well, not today, I filmed the actual other part of this a, while, a little bit ago, but um, we took Brixton to get a buddy and I wanted to show you guys how it went and also hope that you can learn from a few of my mistakes because about nine months ago, I did tons and tons of research about bonding rabbits and how you should do it and the majority of what I read said that you should keep them in separate cages with about 12 inches apart and um, so I did tons and tons of research. I watched videos all day long, YouTube, books, websites, blogs. I even reached out to a couple of people that are really experienced with rabbits, like We Companions and a few others to get some opinions on how I should do this because anytime animals are involved or anything really, any living thing in general, like I feel that you've got to do your research and just do it the best of your ability so that animals aren't stressed out and you, you are just, putting your best foot forward and just doing everything that you can to make their life better because that's the whole point of getting bricks in our bunny um, and a buddy. So uh, buddy, buddy, not bunny, same thing. <laughs> um, so I um, ended up setting up the cage areas and I ended up adopting a rabbit from the Humane Society. You guys know her as Trixie. Um, I adopted her and brought her home and kept them in their separate areas. And after three months of having her, I started doing uh, letting them meet on common ground it did not go well. They did not like each other. They attacked one another. They drew blood. It was not pleasant. I tried to do so many things to get them to bond. And I was doing so much research and reaching out to people and trying to figure out what I could do. Um, and I even put them in the car together in a carrier so they could, they find car rides stressful. So sometimes it'll help them bond in that situation if they're in it together. Um, some people don't like that method, but I was running out of options. So basically, they were not going to get along and it was just not going to work. Like I reached out to We Companions and I kind of explained the situation and everything that I was doing to make this work. And they basically said, there's absolutely no way these two rabbits are going to bond. If they're immediately attacking one another when, they, when they're in the same area, there's no hope. Like some rabbits are just that way. They just don't get along with other rabbits and you have to find that perfect fit. And so it was really sad that, you know, this wasn't going to work out. And I felt bad that I had put Trixie through coming to a no home, etc. So unfortunately, um, if I had had the space, I would have been able to set up a separate rabbit area for Trixie and allowed her to live there. Um, but Trixie is the type of rabbit. She doesn't like human interaction. She um, wants to just be mostly left alone. She doesn't seem to enjoy um, interacting with other rabbits or people or animals. She just kind of doesn't like it and that's okay. So, um, uh, you know, unfortunately with being blood drawn with Brixton and stuff, I did have to take her back to the Humane Society. Um, I had to do what was best for my current resident rabbit and it had been eight months and it just was not working. So sadly, um, you know, it just wasn't going to work out and I had to do what was best for him. Um, so it's, it's definitely like a no kill shelter or anything. It's, it's not a kill shelter or anything like that. And they have these really big area, like cages that they keep the bunnies in. So she's totally fine, but that is something that I had to do that was a bit hard for me. So I'm hoping everyone could kind of like, you know, if you're looking to bond a rabbit, I hope you hear this and you can learn from my mistake because in a perfect world, I would not have put Trixie through that had I known that rabbits, you know, right off the bat, they have to meet each other. You have to see how they interact. Um, some rabbits just aren't gonna like other rabbits. That's just how it's gonna be and there's nothing you can do about it. No amount of kind of meeting is really gonna work out. Some rabbits don't even want to be near other rabbits and that's okay too. But the point is you have to put the rabbits together. They have to meet each other um, under good circumstances and they have to get along immediately. So that's kind of like what this is about. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, we took Bricks into Wee Companions so that he could, um, cause once we took Trixie back, he was really kind of sad for a little while. And I could tell they didn't get along, but he was sad that there wasn't another bunny there. So I was like, okay, we need to do this. And I'm going to take Wee Companions advice and I'm going to do this exactly how they say to do this and try something different because the way that I did it before that I was instructed and found online and, and all these videos and books is not the way that it should be done. I don't think because it didn't work out. Um, so, we introduced Bricks into um, quite a few different rabbits at We Companions, and I wanted to show you guys how it went um, because it ended really well, and I think it's a great way to see how you can successfully do this so that when you're ready to do this, you're really ready and you know what you're doing. Um, because as much research as I did in the beginning, I didn't have the experience and I didn't have the right information. So, 
anyways I hopefully you guys enjoy this it's really fun to watch him meet some of these bunnies and um, let me know what you think in the comments below do you have a, a buddy for your rabbit or do you have a rabbit are you thinking about getting one rabbits are really really cool pets and I also want to say too there are so many bonded pairs that are available for adoption so if you are interested in getting two which I definitely suggest um, there are uh, bonded pairs already that you can adopt just that way so let's go ahead and get started Instead of getting my nails done, I'm riding in the car, <laughs> going to the gosh darn pet store again. It's not a pet store. We companions. We companions. It's where I adopted Frito from. The rabbit, if I'm honest, is probably my favorite pet out of all the pets. <laughs> really? I like Brixton. He's pretty chill. He's a man of few words. He knows what he likes and he enjoys life. We are ready to go. We are in the parking lot right now um, and we're gonna go in and let Brixton play with all the buddies. This is gonna be so exciting. Did you get get him up on Tinder? Did he have his little Tinder profile up so he can meet Of course. The, the his bunny? inbox is so full. It's like, Tinder's like, you need to pay for the way, like the premium membership. You're getting so many messages if you wanna talk to all these bunnies. Is that how it works? How do you know how it works? I'm just guessing. I was literally gonna say I've never been on dinner in my whole life. There's my little bun bun. Hi, Hi. cutie pie. So the first bunny that we introduced Brixton to was, I think her name was Evo. She was one of the bunnies that I had seen there which made me want to bring Brixton because she was so sweet, she wasn't timid, she wasn't afraid of people at all, which I really loved because then I can bond with her too. We put them together and kind of right off the bat, Brixton was like not feeling it. Like he was kind of leaving his head up and kind of just, not, it didn't go, well. there's something in my eye. <laughs> there's probably rabbit hair in my eye. It just wasn't going well. After we broke up a few little fights and tiffs, the lady was kind of like, you know, cause I was taking all the cues from her. I'm like, I've never done this before. Like you're, you're, you're the master. Tell me how it's done. So that one didn't go so well. She was totally fine. And then Brixton was kind of going after her. Why did you do that? So she just said, yeah, this is this is immediately, like you can tell like they're already fighting, like it's not gonna be, and that's how it was with Trixie. You, you immediately know it's not gonna be a good fit. We took her out of there, and then we removed the towel so that there was no scent from her, and then we brought another bunny in named Stud Muffin, and Stud Muffin was, is so cute. Like once we move, if I have space, like, Stud Muffin is adorable. Um, he had eye surgery, so he's got like some eye thing going on, but he's like so cute, little special needs. They seem to like kind of get along, and usually it's not typical for a male and a male to get along, but she thought maybe, because he's just super, super sweet and just kind of like a different kind of bunny. So Stud Muffin was put in there, and Stud Muffin could not <laughs> he, he was like, save me from myself. He could not stop humping Brixton. <laughs> we just missed the, the the savage, super fast motion humping. Oh, is he gonna do it to his face? Hey. <laughs> Are you just in shock, buddy? <laughs> He's like, what just happened to my face? They got along okay. Like, it wasn't amazing. Like, they weren't like grooming each other and laying together and stuff like that. She was like, well, this is a pretty good, you know, match. This could be. Like, he's not like... You know, to Stud Muffin, but Stud Muffin humped him, I wanna say like eight frickin' times, and I felt bad for Brixton, like that I was allowing him to just be <laughs> tortured like that. And she seemed to think it was okay and it was normal, so I was like, okay, well, I feel bad. I don't wanna like, you know, bring a roommate home for Brixton and just have him be humped all day long, and it'll probably start to get annoying. So I was like, let's try an one more and see. So the last one we brought in, uh, her name was Megana. That's what they had named her. I'm going to rename her. We put her in there and first we weren't sure again because, and I guess you don't have to replace the bedding in the area because it was a male and not another female. Put her in there and it actually ended up being pretty good. Like there was no fights. He was stomping his foot a little bit to say like, to warn her like, hey, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna attack you. It's gonna be a bunny attack if you keep trying me. So he did that a couple times, but then she was so funny. She kept trying to like, nuzzle under him and she would lower her head and so would he and that's a good sign that 
they're not like staying alert and like gonna go after him. So that was good. But then like she just kept getting more lovey-dovey and she was laying with her little sexy legs out and he just wasn't really like being as calm as her. I don't know if he was like stressed out from the, the drive and meeting two bunnies that he didn't necessarily love. Um, so he wasn't really like picking up on that. And then she started to groom him and it was so cute. She was like licking his ears and he was like lowering his head and his eyes were completely closed. And at this point he still wasn't completely letting go. Like he still was on guard a little bit. Like he wasn't like laid out like he usually is at home. And she actually asked me, she's like, does he do that at home? I'm like, yes, he does. Um, <laughs> so he wasn't doing it there, but he was definitely enjoying the grooming. And then he was trying to get under her at some point. And I guess it's just kind of them canoodling. So it was really cute and there was no fighting. Like he did a couple warning thumps, but it never resulted in him like actually going after her. That was a good fit. I brought her home and I also was able to adopt the other hamster, the female that I really wanted. I wanted two hamsters um, not to go together. Syrians do not go together, but um, so I got her as well. So I basically did rearrange the cage area so that there there are some reasons why um, and I took the lady's advice and kind of did exactly what she told me to do. So I will show you guys how I did that right now. Okay, so this area is still kind of under construction, but what I'm gonna be doing um, as I've been instructed to do is take kind of all of the hides out of here. And what I'm gonna do is clear these out I'm gonna clean the toys and all this stuff so they don't smell like Brixton. And then I got a new, um, this guy right here, which is a big absorbent thing. And I'm gonna put this on the ground here. And I'm gonna block off about, probably like about here to the back and let them stay in that area. I was instructed to do so, so they are in tighter quarters and have to kind of bond. So here is the little area I set up. I washed all of these toys. This is brand new. That's new. Um, so everything in here has been washed. I mean, it'll still smell a little bit like Brixton because this is his little area, but this will be for the daytime and then I'm gonna open it up just like a little bit, maybe like another foot here and here for nighttime or just open the rest of that. So they have a little bit more space, but let's go ahead and put them in here. That's a happy girl. Brixton's like, my area is usually a lot bigger than this. What happened? I got downsized. Give it up, bun bun. This is the area for a little bit. Which one of you left poop all over the place? So there you have it. There is the bunny area and our new bun bun. I'm so excited and happy for Brixton. I'm so excited that we got to save her and not like she was on death row or anything at the shelter, but um, adopt her, give her a great home, and they're doing really well. Um, I've been kind of monitoring them, and I just left for a moment to record this, but they seem to do be, be doing really well. She seems to not be potty trained, which scares me because bunnies poop and pee a lot, and Brixton is definitely potty trained. So we'll see, but um, nothing that can't be taught. So she's doing really well. We'll check in. Um, on Instagram stories and all that to let you guys know how the progress is going, but so far so good. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think we should name her. I'd love to hear any of your name ideas. Someone on Twitter told me that they were gonna name their kitten possibly Olive, and I really liked that name. I thought that would be like a really cute name for her or for my new hamster, I wasn't sure. So let me know your name ideas, I want to steal them. Um, thanks for watching guys, and please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the bell notification if you wanna get notified when I upload a new video. Bye guys.